and Sammy Lee on the bench. Yeah, a little bit of discomfort with an injury to that left knee. And now Sharp coming through. And saved first time and saved the second time. Oh, it ended off Romano. What a crazy goal. And it clearly went in off the Liverpool keeper, Bruce Grobola. Well, he's made two really excellent saves. Interesting. Sampson with the... the referee very much the center of this episode having awarded the penalty then booked Hodge and now retaken for Sterling same technique same result and this time it certainly does count and delight is now mingled with relief lovely control from Christie matched by the turn and the pass for Davenport Hodges committed himself as a real chance for Davenport. It's his goal, but it was superbly set up by Trevor Christie. And significantly, Christie gets his share of the congratulations. And then from Davenport, the scorer as well. For much of this game, when Wednesday have had corners, is now trying to make his presence felt on the near post for Forrest. Beaten to it by Shirtlift. It's a long way for... Ferrari to go. He's not the type of player to be short on confidence in this sort of situation. Still Ferrari. Brilliantly done. He certainly didn't lack the confidence. Chapman and Marwood is allowed to go on onside. And Pearson. He could hardly believe it. It virtually hit him and went in. Hart and Sutton let the ball go. Lead still building methodically. Irwin. With some height in the area. And it was from Watson. And from right. To Tommy Wright. It just squeezed it. The header from right. And Leeds have taken the lead. And here's Langley to move full one back here right on half time. Ainsco, yes, they can. Ainsco has equalized right on the stroke of half time. Leeds caught napping at the back, and Alan Ainsco. Here come Wolves again now with Butler to substitute. He can play in just about any position. Butler's cross, little Doughty. And he scored. The smallest man on the park has put Wolves in front as he runs across to their jubilant supporters on the far side. And just look at his elation. Sheridan, Watson, thought about the shot, instead finds Irwin. McCluskey's in the middle, so is Wright. Watson arriving, is over Humphrey. Here's Wright, flowers on his line. Look at that. Makes it 2-2. Bowers kept it in. He hasn't. And his inexperience showing never happened. Pendar couldn't prevent it crossing the line. And young Tim Flowers holds his head. Roder's header again. Thank you, says Robson. Roder's couldn't get it back to him. Carney finds Ryan. Did 
dispossessed by Olsen. And this is going to be a goal for Olsen. seem to be Manchester United's game for the taking although they have let things slide before this season when they've been in the lead oh but suddenly Hughes is clear and makes it free Robson Olsen combining beautifully those two as Robson now looks to get his cross in but Carney is there but he's only poked it out as far as Orbiston. Moses, Strachan, lovely play. Can Moses finish it off? Number four! Brilliant goal! Moses again. A long ball, seeking out Strachan, but not quite finding him. Yes, he has. This is five. It's an absolute riot now. Strachan second, Manchester United's fifth, and look at the joy at the Stratford end as United come good at last. From Alan Smith, now Lineker, can he make it count this time? He can! And here's Peter Beardsley, it's 1-0. Certainly Peter Beardsley and Chris Waddle not quite getting the service that they got in the second division when Keegan was around to help them. But here's Heath trying to provide service for Kevin Cheedy, who's back with a goal. 25 minutes, totally justifying the thinking of Howard Kendall. Uh, their activities here, they're off to European competition against University College Dublin. And Wharton has been gifted a goal 15 seconds into the second half. And maybe Everton had other things like a European escapade on their mind. They certainly weren't concentrating on the matter in hand. They have to remember that it was when the ball was played and it travelled a distance during which time Mountfield had dropped back into a covering position and played Wharton on the side Stephen 2-2 two -two. Trevor Stephen who comes from Berwick upon Tweed and used to watch his football here as a Newcastle United fan shows again that Everton have midfield players who can score goals Sheedy's caught he will have a second attempt, courtesy of Malcolm Brown. And Gray! They have looked so dangerous from Sheedy's in-swinging corners. Alan Buckley with the free kick then for Derby. Who sent to Hyde March forward. There he is on the edge of the area. Couldn't really direct the header, but he got a second chance. Kevin Taylor, and off the post. And Derby have taken the lead. Kevin Taylor with his first goal for Derby. 16 minutes gone. And here's Kevin Hurd, breaking now for Burnley. Hutchison with a lot of room away to his left, but instead, he chooses Grucock. Can he get round Buckley? He has. And still, oh, it's gone in! A mistake by Steele, Biggins has turned it in, the goal stands. A misunderstanding really there between Burns and Steele as Grucock crossed it in and Biggins was on hand just to stamp the ball in. And he couldn't shake off Derek Scott. But Derby pressing now with Taylor and here's Charlie Palmer. Davison in the middle! Oh yes, 2-1 to Derby. Have a look on 
on his face says it all. Eric Steele, the goalkeeper, directing operations from his goal line. It's a four-man, five-man wall, really, with hooks on the end of it, and Powell there, too. Touched off for Kevin Hurd. Oh, that's a splendid goal. Kevin Hurd makes it 2-2. So, Dean has the task again, of beating Steve Sherwood. He scored. And John Dean has given Norwich the lead. There's Barnes of the defender. Johnston. 1-1. One, one. Certainly Woods was sent the wrong way by the deflection. And Johnson to finish. Callahan then with the corner. It's up for Terry. Steve Terry has scored. Watford have taken the lead. Five minutes into the second half. Bruce and Watson. Quickly missed. Bruce. Got a second chance. Sherwood cutting it at Dion. Sherwood couldn't hold on to it. And John Dion has scored his second of the game. And how he relishes playing against Watford. Riley and Taylor feels that they've got to work hard on their relationship, Ian Johnson this year. It really all came too easy for them last season. So Terry, now Dio. Over the line before Gordon can touch it in, and John Dio has scored a hat trick. And they switch out for two or three variations from this sort of free kick. Little Mark Brennan's often involved. Gates, though, will hit the shot. Oh, and he scores! Well, a fine shot by Eric Gates, but I would think that Martin Hodge will ask questions of his own goalkeeping there. Waiting for support, eventually finding Marwood. Now, what can the Excel City man do here? Oh, and two of them under challenge. Chapman fell down. Barardi has to chase. He delivers another cross. It's going to be close, and Marwood is in! What a fine goal from Brian Marwood! Wednesday right back in it. occasionally to uh, rather over elaborate and certainly if Ropelar has there Berardi has he scored he has oh that's a remarkable goal Ropelar what on earth was he doing Berardi has taken full advantage now Sterling for Wednesday good play there lovely interchange with Marwood Sterling driving it in goal from Shelton Robillard couldn't hold it, and Gary Shelton has made it 2-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. And that's within Robson's range for a direct shot. And it's deflected, but Robson accepts the congratulations. Peter Beardsley is the penalty taker for Newcastle United, and he scores. Newcastle in front. So Barnes and Hibbett again over the ball. And Hibbett curls it brilliantly. 
That will make him feel better. The penalty given against him, and he was furious about that. But where Tottenham were looking the more influential side, suddenly Manchester United bounced back. Brazil, Hughes, 1 0. Worthington, a sensible ball just inside the area. There's Shelton going across. The defender went for the ball. Shelton went across his leg. The referee said nothing doing, but here's Dean at the other end and he's put Norwich one up. Sheffield Wednesday caught cold. It's the third time that Dean has threatened a goal and this time he makes it count. Ooh, Shannon here. Coming up on the outside is Mendham in a good position, onside, cut back. Oh, it should have been number two, Donovan must score. It's 2-0 to Norwich. Sheffield really pay the penalty once again for some slack work. But it'd be quite amazing if they could conjure up two in the last few moments of this game. A longer one. Oh, and the keeper's off his line here. Van Wyck away. And it still will not go in. It will now from Mel Sterland. His left foot fairly cracked that one in. Riley's header. Richie. Stroud well forward. A goal out of nothing. It certainly took Cashley by surprise. McCaffrey waiting for the referee's decision to allow him to come back on. reach it, 2-0, Rovers look in disbelief, Ashley is hurt, here's Pritchard, Riley's gone to the near post, Riley, very neatly done indeed, it's the second for Riley, it's euphoria for Bristol City followers, already and stopped Ains go shot in fact although I don't think he was going anywhere near oh and here's a real chance for Tommy Langley 3-1 so the substitute pays dividends within minutes of coming on Lovely ball to Ford, who's got all the penalty area to go out here. Tony Ford, he's got number five. Oh, isn't he pleased? And if anybody deserves a goal today, it's Tony Ford. Deter Craig Johnston. Cross played with the outside of the foot, and Nickel worming his way through. Dalgleish encouraging him to go on. And a goal! Steve Nickel, for Liverpool. And now the pass inside for John Wall. Rush just staying on side. Dalgleish in the middle. Walk in there too. And Nickel. A 
across the goal and into the back of the net from Hawke. And 2-0 for Liverpool. Lions and Parade. Now Shelton. And they've left Oliver. And Blair! Clinically struck. Southall left with no chance. And Sharp will take the kick himself. 1-1. One, one. Hodge furious. It was certainly unnecessarily conceded. Dennis. Holmes has come forward again and that's meant room for Curtis who looked to curl it. A splendid goal. A goal of genuine quality that caught Lukic off his line. Flick on there and turn once more and the goal. Well, it was an extraordinary goal uh, scored by Donawa. Cut out by Saunders. Oh, what a lovely ball! And Waddles on his way and is equalized. Under Ball's control, Portsmouth's second season in Division 2 proved more successful, although they left it late against Jim Smith's Oxford. Oxford have scored! Blake. Now Webb. Blake immediately darting in for the cross. And Bailey! It's come at long last! Lachlan, for Spackman. Spackman. Trying to get it through to Joey Jones, who'd gone through. The touch now, and Davis. And a brilliant strike for Chelsea, with a little over five minutes gone. And the cross. Neatly getting around Spackman, Robson. He's not away on the left here, and the pass finding Stapleton. He's got Hughes waiting in the middle. Tremendous goal. A fine equaliser for Manchester United by Mark Hughes. Robson, so aware of everything around him and knew that Strachan was there and having made his pass makes a lovely run for the return. Now can he cross in a ball for Strachan? And is it in? It's gone there. Well, it's anybody's guess who scored it. Stapledon was right in there. Strachan came away with his arm aloft. Missing young player he is. Robson, another one of course, Woodcock shot, what a marvellous goal by Tony Woodcock, right out of the blue too, a swift build up, and 
Tony Woodcock has given Arsenal the lead with an explosive shot. Bringing in Van den Howell and Cracewell. This is Van den Howell now. It's great. Van den Howell. Sharp. Carl struggling. He couldn't reach it. And that's goal number 21 for Graham Sharp. Superbly created. Van den Howell's cross. Sharp has stayed inside the six-yard area. Mountfield, Gray, both making their run. There's Mountfield, and he scored! <laughs> 32 minutes gone. In fact, it's Reed with a kick. Bracewell, outlet for CD. Can he finish it off here? Magnificently done. Cool piece of finishing by Kevin Sheedy. Down and out. Reed. Sharp very much involved. Here he is again. Bracewell. Now for Stevens. Newcastle at full stretch here. Stevens making for the line. Sheedy's header. Sharp. Elf Sheedy. Sheedy's got it. The second of the game. Four minutes remaining. And that's good running by Clive Wilson. And on he goes. He's got Melrose in the middle. A chance for Melrose. Well blocked by Cox. Gordon Smith. Manchester City at last. And Wilson is clear again here. Clive Wilson. It's Huddersfield Town nil. Manchester City two. Very swell going to come second, although the odds were against him. Sheedy, Bracewell involved again. And Stephen meeting the cross, and Gary Stevens and the deflection crawl for Watford. And Coton, but the first division top scorers have finally found a way through, and they needed a bit of luck to do it. Bracewell. Stevens, Gray has stolen a yard here on Terry. Bracewell, well played. Steven, Stevens, he's got another. That's perhaps telling Stevens where he might have been. It's a little infield on that occasion. Much more verb about Everton now, Bracewell, Gray left it, Sheedy, oh yes! Sweet as you like. He's missed 15 months with a knee injury. Sharp, Stephen took it on the chest and Coton couldn't keep it out. So he can't be that badly hurt. It's 4-0. And Coton now in the second half is going through the nightmare, though little blame can be attached to him. Lauren poised at the back post. And here he comes! Finally up in the air from Wharton. Cunningham disconcerted Moran and Beardsley. A clinical finish. And Cunningham played a part. And Rush. A brilliant goal and a typical one by the race marksman Ian Rush. They're a goal down. They yet pull it round, it's Alan Pierce with the free kick for them. Ford will hope to get it back again and does so. The crossbar there. Oh, and it is the crossbar choice! And it still won't go into ten now! And Sprezia has made it 1 1. What a remarkable sequence! 
as Everton throw Vanden Howe and Mount Phil forward. They've taken the corner quickly too. Sheedy. Into the path of Stevens. Gone in. It took a deflection, I'm sure. Gary Stevens. Has given Everton the lead. Sheedy, who's scored four goals in his last four games. And here's Sheedy now against Charlton. And tucks it away beautifully. Goal number 12 for Kevin Sheedy in this season. Here's Sheedy. Sheedy again. Going up in support. Stephen outside him here. Oh, that's a magnificent goal by Trevor Stephen. Stapleton finding Olsen. That's not a bad ball for Norman Whiteside. Onto that left foot. A brilliant goal for Manchester United by Norman Whiteside, the substitute. Superbly taken. Reed. Baker, splendid pass and finding power. Phillips arriving and Kinsey there too. Kinsey! the size of that and here's Dawes and Faraday with another chance he scored again two inside two minutes Parkin away by Fennec and Zondervan had the check which allowed Faraday in behind him it's four against two Gregory and Bannister Bannister, who hasn't scored since the Milk Cup tie here against Ipswich in January. Down the line for Jesper Olsen. Hughes. White side. Curling cross to Stapleton! They take quickly to Bowen. And perhaps Roberts can strike one here. And Ardiles can. And Ardiles has put Tottenham in front with less than two minutes of the first half remaining. Goddard. Couldn't gather. Cotty did. Allen. And Aura sneak forward again. Dickens, yes! And not undeserved. Tottenham hang their heads. Coming up to 25 minutes of the second half. And Rotten! Once again, Biglin with the cross, hog up above Rush. 
Lena. Whelan. Whelan again. A brilliant goal by Ronnie Whelan. That came off Strachan's hand, but again, it wasn't intentional. And the little stop finds Frank Stapledon as United comes springing forward now. Hughes has made a dart towards the near post. Here's Mark Hughes, Lawrenson with him. Stapledon again. Olsen's in a bit of space on the far side of deflection. And a goal! United back in the lead. And McDonald belts it forward and the flag is up for an offside. The referee hasn't spotted it. And the flag has come down. Delgleish. The cross comes in towards Rush. And Walsh. And they've equalised again. For what United will say is the linesman had his flag up and the referee didn't spot it. And the flag went down as the referee allowed the game to go on. United will feel aggrieved. But Liverpool are delighted. Discussion there between Ratcliffe and Van den Howe as to how the kick should be taken. Mountfield again has come up on the far side. It's Ratcliffe who takes it and plants it towards him. And Derek Mountfield. The centre-back who scored so many important goals for Everton. Notches number 11 with about three minutes to go to half-time. Second half, only three minutes old. Their second corner, Everton. Though the wind is as strong against them as it was for them in the first half. The gun and in by Trevor Stephen. Bruce winning it. Ratcliffe's header returning it. Stephen up really well against Greg Downs. Here's Bruce back again. Oh, the back pass is a bad one. And Bracewell with a great chance for Everton. And makes it. Oxford here. Baird going on all the way. And a goal! Great run by Baird. And what a finish. And here's Brian Steen. By Joby Hill and Harford in the middle. And Harford! C'è stato anche il quarto gol di Niederbacher e veniamo al Manchester United che batte il Rabaeto, gli indirizzi del Rabaeto per 3 a 0. Il primo gol è di Robson al diciottesimo minuto del primo tempo. Manchester United, anche questa formazione, protagonista l'anno scorso di un duro scontro di quarto di finale contro la Juventus. Segue con 9 punti.
abbiamo rivisto il gol di Robson, il gol successivo è del olandese Muren su bel allungo di Hughes, ecco Muren con il numero 8, fase determinante che permetterà a Hughes di realizzare la terza rete del Manchester contro il Vasas di Rabaeto, la formazione ungherese di Gjör, ecco il gol di testa di Hughes, 3 a 0 per il Manchester United, la squadra di Robson, non più di Wilkins. Agnolina ha concesso il rigore, Strachan risolve, 0 a 0 all'andata, 0 a 0 dopo anche altri 90 minuti, questo unico golletto tirato fuori su questo calcio di rigore, peraltro contestatissimo, al secondo minuto dei tempi supplementari risolve la sfida fra Manchester United e Eindhoven, passa dunque la squadra inglese del Manchester United vincendo per 1-0 con il gol di Strachan. So a penalty kick has been given, it'll be taken by Gordon Strachan. And he'll be mindful of the fact that he scored one in each of his last three seasons for Aberdeen against Hamish McAlpine. So it's Strachan against McAlpine. And a perfect start for Manchester United provided by Gordon Strachan. Free kick played towards Richard Goff. Header down, a first time shot! Paul Hegarty! Dundee United equalise after one minute of the second half. Chance for Manchester United and Robson makes it 2-1. Good pass into space for Dodds. Now Beedy breaking on the right, Sturrock is to the middle. Dodds is getting there too. That's beyond Duxbury there, Sturrock! Paul Sturrock makes it two apiece. Shannon. Here's Barham. Three waiting for the cross. And Diem. And the goalkeeper couldn't keep it out. Norwich City are in front. And a fair reflection on the play. Ventus back in possession here with Bonini to Platini. Again, striking the ball through so cleanly. Off goes Boniek. Danger threatening here. Oh! Magnificent goal by Boniek. That was a classic goal by the Polish international. Caprini. Came off Neil. Here's Priashi. Well, the Liverpool defence again extended here. Priashi's turn. There's Boniek. That's two. And Boniek has got both the goals. Just outside the six yard area there. Sterling again. He would have preferred that on his right. Worthington. Touch off was from Marwood. Blair. Good effort, and a goal too. And it's Shelton, who's given Sheffield Wednesday the lead. For a lovely interchange of passes. Thomas is there too. He could certainly curl up for this sort of range. There is Thomas, straight into the wall. Nevin, it's clever play. Still Nevin. Is it in? It is! And Speedy has got it! Well, he's come close so twice, and he's finally made it. So Chelsea try again. Cannaville with the corner. There's Thomas! It's there! Thomas has got it! Cannaville's corner, and Mickey Thomas has headed Chelsea into the lead in the last minute of this game. Put away by Chendo. Butrigueno. Valdano waiting at the far post. And Butrigueno, who's a real threat, and is in an own goal off Perriman. Real Madrid have an away goal here at White Hart Lane. 
Van Wyk up to Dian. But he turned. Dian. Deflected in. Watson on the edge of the goal area. Bruce and Dian coming in from the edge of the box. Has pulled away to the far post. Here's Reed. Oh, he's lost it. The goalkeeper's first mistake. And what a costly one it is. Current. Right. That's a magnificent finish. Sheer courage. Sheedy again. Everton sets it. There could be more goals. And there. Uh, well, he's got it anyway. This is hat trick. What a night for Andy Gray. Took it on to Walk. And now Nicole. A little cross is required. Walk is there. And they scored. Liverpool have scored. Mark Leash. Robson. And Robson again getting it back from Stapleton. He's on his way. Can he find the shot? Brilliant goal. Brian Robson makes a superb equaliser for Manchester United. That gets them off their feet. Lovely skill. Oh, and a ball that's through, and he's onside. Hughes, and he's there. Liverpool looking hard at the linesman. They felt he was offside. And I must say, they looked a suspicion of it to me, but the flag stayed down, and United are in the lead. Fergal is onside, and clean in at Neville Southall. And Hernes off the goalkeeper. There are two on the line for Everton, but Hernes finds a way past them. Everton's European fortress has fallen at last. Gray goes in. Sharp! The perfect start to the second half. Stevens with another testing long throw. Fast lost it. A goal! Andy Gray! Such delight on the terraces! Such delight amongst the players! Sheedy. Gray is onside, played onside by Nagby. Trevor Stevens. It settles now. In Rotterdam, here they come. Ristich. Oh, the back pass might come to Sharp. He's got Andy Gray in there. That's the goal. If the photographer will just move just a moment for Kevin Sheedy, there's the cross coming in, and it went all the way, and it's in there, and it's Trevor Stephen, and it's the second for Everton. Well, the defence allowed that to go all the way through. So much so that I think in the 
one of the squares in the town the police in fact made out a football pitch and had the local police playing Everton fans in a football game at lunchtime so that's oh here's a chance for Crankle Crankle it's amazing what certain decisions can do in football that looked offside from where I was sitting Everton scored a goal that didn't look offside now here's Sheedy well there's the answer <laughs> take that and if there were any lingering doubts for just a moment that faithful left foot of Kevin Sheedy has put pay for those Puts it forward. All sorts of trouble. It's an own goal. And that looks. Here's Augustine going through. Jennings on. The chance for Chip from Hachi. And it's there. Left again for Nickel. Donkey. Forward, right side on side, it's 2 1. Balls for Donkey. Stewart. Two men with him. Does well. Armstrong's there. Ball for me. It does! Losing out in the end. Comes across Augustine, and it's there from the substitute. 25 minutes into the first half, still no scoring. So far, trying to take on Seagull Vinson. A great cross. The head out of the ball is in the net, and it's Paul McStay. The youngest Scotsman on the field gets his first goal for Scotland. In the one by McLeish. Dudley should lay off to Paul McStay. And a great goal from McStay. Sheer genius from the Celtic midfield player. And Scotland goal two in front. Beck leaves it to Johnston. Spineson is back. And there is Willie Miller and there's the header. It's right for people like Anderson and Mark Wright to come forward. And Butcher, of course, as well, six foot four of him. And it was Butcher who got the header in. And Barnes also. And England has scored. And Brian Robson has played a captain's part with a goal for England. Tragic. Hustled by Butcher and beaten by him, and suddenly Woodcock's on his way, and he scored! And it's the second goal for England, a mighty blow! And it was Jay Butcher who suddenly popped up. Uh, bigger and better things here this afternoon. Wilkins with the free kick after Barnes had jumped over it. It'll come out for Stephen Williams. Oh, and he might go all the way! And he's there! Well, Woodcock and Robson followed it in. Robson. Wilkins. Anderson. With. With. Nice touch there for Robson, who's got Woodcock waiting in the middle. And Barnes coming up on the far side! Number four! And Barnes might come in again. Yes! It's number five. Well, the England defender's looking back at Peter Shilton, and I suppose he'll claim the assist for that one. A massive kick by the goalkeeper. Peter with again involved. And uh, the fifth side can stay together, <coughs> as it's um, play as well as it is here at the moment, then uh, 
we could be in for a very promising World Cup. Well, there's a few games to go before we actually go. Yes, indeed. But here's Wilkins. Played again for Robson, who's onside and gets this hat-trick magnificently. What a brilliant goal for England, taking the score to six. Well, Ishmael, who in fact scored with a 40-yard shot in his uh, club side on at the weekend, but that was a little free kick he played short. And Anderson, who will cut it out and find Ray Wilkins. That's a lovely ball there. And Anderson on the break now. Played inside again for Woodcock. And it's another one. I don't believe it. It's seven now. No wonder Tony Woodcock smiling. Barnes with that corner. Wiz and Butcher at the near post. Anderson's come up from the back post as well. Well, and it's Viv Anderson who gets the goal. And England go up to eight. Still to Finland, Turanen. In goes the cross. Lipanen. One nil. He scored against Turkey two weeks ago. His first international goal that day. He's got a second tonight. Jonathan! Jonathan, great goal! Billy Bingham said Norman Whiteside would take the penalties. It looks like Jerry Armstrong. It is Jerry Armstrong! Jacket hitting it long and hard. Hopkins trying to get in. Hughes was there. Thomas has scored! Ricky Thomas! One nothing Wales. 35 minutes gone. And sprinting through and on for Peterson. It's 1-1. One, one. Peter Peterson. Well, there is a drama. Rush for James. For Phillips. Needs a good delivery for a post ball. Mickey Thomas goes up. Nice little ball played inside for Brady. Played back beautifully by him for Brady again. And it's in there. Off the keeper, but Brady's goal. James. Ross. Goal from a master cross. With Notts County, the number two with the throw for Finland. And throw there, allowed to go along with, and oh, just gone in the post, and a goal for Finland, scored by number 11, Rantanen, after Shelton had pushed the header onto the post, and exactly the start that England did not require. Finish it off. He's stumbling. And it's a goal! England are level. Mark Hately. Getting away from Swainson. And towards Steve Archibald. Breaks for Burt. It's going for Scotland. Yeah. And Burt has made it. Scotland have scored with a good three and a half minutes left for play. And Jim Burt gets his first goal for Scotland. Galdrizzi. Banier, lining up a shot. Barresi there too. Banier, 
across for Shazan. intended it as a shot or whether he intended it as a cross, I couldn't tell you. The answer is it's in the back of the England net and we have some work to do now. Hoddle. Barnes. Now can he open them up? A nice little cross in there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Although he felt he wasn't quite at his best for the cup final in the game in Finland, he feels really sharp now. Here's Hoddle. A little chip in, and Robson was getting in there again. And knocked down, and a goal by Robson! Great piece of work by Kerry Dixon. And Brian Robson has put England into the lead. Well, it's Klaus Augenthaler on the ball for them at the moment. They've got to push themselves through a pain barrier. And suddenly England are on the break again. And Butcher is on his way. And Kerry Dixon has got it in. And England are two in the lead. His first goal for England, Kerry Dixon. After 36 in a season for Chelsea. After a great break by Butcher. After a mistake by the Germans. But here's Barnes in possession. Getting some support from Reed and a lovely little ball played by Peter Reed. Urging Barnes to get down that touchline. Find the cross into it. Kerry Dixon! Oh, a beautiful goal! A genuine Dixon goal that Chelsea fans know so well. 